Hello to all the boys and girls of St. Lucie County. My name is Mrs. Bonija, and I am here today to share a very special story with you. I hope you enjoy it. This story is called Christina and the Frog. It was written by Alma Flor Ada, illustrated by Claudia Lignasi. Christina and the Frog. The princess kissed a frog and let it go. And the frog turned into a prince, read Christina's mother. Wow, great story, mom, said Christina before she closed her eyes. The next morning, Christina went searching for a frog. I know there's a big frog around here. I've seen it before. Where is it hiding? She said to herself as she searched. I bet I can catch it if I see it again. She did not find the frog that morning, so that afternoon she went out looking again. And there was the frog. Frog, I know I'm not a princess, so I don't expect you to turn into a prince. What do I want a prince for anyway? I just want you to turn into a little girl who will play with me. Since mom has gotten so big, she never wants to play hide and seek with me in the garden. She spent all her time knitting. I told her my dolls don't need all those things she is making. And all she says is, we'll see. Hmm. I wonder why mom is getting so big and why she keeps making all the clothes. Dad doesn't take me on long rides anymore, only short rides around the block. He has a new hobby. He made a high chair. I don't need a high chair anymore, not even a booster chair. And now he is making a crib. I told him my dolls are very happy with the crib they have and they don't need another one. But all he says is, we'll see. Hmm, looks to me like mother and dad are getting ready for somebody. So I'm kissing you, frog, and letting you go. Please turn into a nice girl, okay? Frog, where are you? You don't need to hide to turn into a girl. Christina, hi, sweetheart. Come see what I have for you, said Grandma with a very pleasant voice that promised that kind of surprise Christina loved. Grandma, cried Christina, running to greet her. I have something to tell you. Christina wanted to tell Grandma about the frog, but she never got a chance to do it. She was having so much fun playing with Taffy, helping to bake chocolate chip cookies, and decorating a cake for Mommy. Then Christina fell asleep at the table. She was tired. The next day, Grandma announced, I have many errands to run. You will be my helper. First, they went to the post office to mail some letters. Then they went to the library to return Grandma's book and to borrow some books for Christina. They visited a friend of Grandma's in a nursing home, and everyone there wanted to talk to Christina and pet her hair as if she were happy. Later, they met Grandma's friend Anna for a quick lunch in the park. While they chatted, Christina got to pet Anna's dog, Sam, and she even got to hold him in her lap. Then Grandma spoke with Dad on her cell phone and said it was time to go home and find a surprise. <gasps> a surprise, asked Christina. So you know about frog, Grandma? But Grandma did not say anything. Hmm, if it's not frog, I wonder what surprise it is. When they got home, Dad was waiting at the door. He lifted Christina up saying, what a surprise we have for you. And then he hurried inside with her. Isn't she lovely? Asked mother. Wow, she's tiny, said Christina. Do you know where she came from? Asked dad. Of course I know where she came from. It's all my fault, said Christina. Your fault, asked mom and dad. They had a very worried expression on their face. What do you mean? It was supposed to be a secret, but don't be upset. 
All I did was kiss a frog, said Christina. I just didn't know she was going to turn out so little. She cried as she ran out to the garden. It was a pretty big frog. I need to find another frog, said Christina, looking in every corner of the garden. And this time I need to make sure that this frog understands that it needs to turn into a girl, not into a froggy thing like that. But no matter how hard she looked, she did not find another frog anywhere. Fortunately, the baby grew and grew and grew and grew some more. So she finally had someone to play with. The end. Now, what's nice about that story is that at the end, Christina got a baby sister, right? So even though she was baby, a baby at the, begin, at the beginning, um, that doesn't mean the baby was going to stay that way for a long time. She was going to grow and she was going to be able to have somebody to play with after all. Well, I'm glad that you joined me for this story and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.